Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel Hattie Homemaking where I make videos on homemaking, femininity and fashion. So today's video I'm really excited about. It was actually inspired by another girl here on YouTube who has done this exact same video. She actually did a day in the life of a 1950s housewife and I swear it's my favourite ever YouTube video I've ever watched. Like I cannot even stress that enough. <laughs> so it's inspired by that so I thought I would do my own version of a 1950s housewife morning routine and just go through the steps as close as I can. Obviously some of these things won't be completely accurate because I'm not living in the 1950s so I don't have the things such as like pink curls and things like that and I didn't want to go out shopping specifically to get things for this video with the situation that's going on in the world right now. So I've done my best, I really hope you enjoy this video, I really enjoyed creating it for you and I just hope it gives you a little bit of nostalgia even if you weren't even alive during that time which I wasn't but I feel like every time I think about that time it just makes me feel all nostalgic. So this is almost a romanticised view of what it would have been like to be a 1950s housewife. Obviously there were variations between households and people and marriages <laughs> so it wasn't always as ideal as I think people on the internet sometimes but try it to be but I wanted to give almost like a romanticized sort of version of a 1950s housewife morning routine so I'm gonna get straight on into the video now and I really hope you enjoy it. Okay, so for the first part of the morning routine is obviously to wake up. I'm sure 1950s housewife didn't have a little puppy jumping over them first thing in the morning, but I couldn't let Murphy get off the bed. So apparently housewives did some stretches in bed and then 10 stretches outside of bed. I don't know how many housewives actually stuck to that every day, but I did attempt to do a couple of stretches and it was actually really nice. My back clicked quite a few times. Next is to get out of bed and they would pull the covers right back to let the air sort of get into the bed and to air it out. Next is to get into a dressing gown just while I do my morning chores. So the first thing they would do every morning is draw the curtains in the bedroom and then open a window. I've actually got sliding doors instead of a window but they would just let all the fresh air in and to let the fresh air get into the bed as well and just stand for a minute and take in the fresh air to help them wake up. Next is straight into the bathroom to do the teeth and skincare. So I'm just cleaning my teeth, which is pretty self-explanatory. And then for the skincare, they kept it pretty basic. They used a soap that was quite simple. I think the most popular one in the UK was Palm Ovative. I can't say it, Pal Palm Ovative. <laughs> the brand is still around now, but I'm just using the Dove Beauty Cream Bar, which a lot of people still swear by now. So I'm just putting that soap all over my face and then washing it off with cold water. Next is to put some cold water on the wrists which apparently helps you wake up so apparently ladies would put cold water on their wrists as soon as they wake up to help them come around. So next is straight on to morning tea time. So there was a couple of differences on the internet or whether they had tea or whether they had warm water with lemon. But I'm pretty sure in Britain, if I spoke to any of my grandparents or anything like that, they would have told me that tea was an absolute staple. So I'm just making tea in the proper tea set with a teapot and china cups. Next is time for a bath and personal hygiene, which was taken extremely seriously. Most housewives would have a bath every single morning, so I'm just running that, and they would use soap all over their bodies. And it was common practice just to soak in the bath for a while in the morning, just getting clean and smelling amazing. <laughs> So 
So continuing on with this personal hygiene, they did used to use powder on their entire bodies, but I didn't have any powder, so I used some moisturizer. They would also use deodorant every single day. So next it's time to get dressed, so I picked this sort of house dress, which isn't really 1950s, but they did used to wear sort of comfortable dresses around the home so that they could get their chores done. It is a bit of a misconception that 1950s housewife did wear dresses every day. They did actually used to wear comfortable jumpers and things like that to do their chores in. And then now I am just making the bed. Everything was done with such care and high standards and they had the time to really think about their own personal hygiene but also how the house looked. They were so important back then. So next is time for breakfast. So we made a full English, which might not be 100% accurate, but we did have a little bit of a debate on whether baked beans were around in 1950s. So as you can see on the tin, it actually says that baked beans were established in 1869. So we had a bit of back and forth of me saying, no, I definitely can't imagine them eating beans. And Paul was saying they will have done because they were around. So. He had them anyway, so they were part of our English at breakfast. So today for the English breakfast, we just had two slices of toast, some bacon, sausages, hash browns, egg and beans. This was Paul's plate, not mine. So don't worry, I didn't eat this much this morning. <laughs> Now it's next on to makeup and hair. So in the 1950s, it was really common to do pin curls. So curled hair was pretty much a staple every single day. So I don't know how to do pin curls, so I just used my rollers. Then once my rollers were in, it's time to get on to the makeup. So I had a little Google about what sort of makeup was worn typically. And typically it was a light foundation. And on one article I read, it said that they actually wore a foundation shade, one shade darker than their natural skin tone, which I just thought was quite interesting because I thought going darker than your actual skin tone was more of a 2020 Essex thing <laughs> but my foundation shade is a little bit darker for me anyway since I'm not getting much sunlight at the moment and I'm extremely pale. Just like they used to powder their bodies as well they powdered all over their face and that was a staple in the makeup routine. Next they wore blusher, they didn't really wear bronzer or I couldn't find anywhere that said they did so I'm just putting some bronzer on my cheeks. Next I'm just putting on some eyeliner, they used to wear either brown or black eyeliner. And now I'm just putting on some mascara and it said online that they used to really cake their mascara on and wear loads of loads of layers. <laughs> and then my camera cut out but I actually put on some red lipstick and then I just brought my rollers down. Then once the rollers were all out of my hair I tried to do like a traditional sort of head scarf thing that they used to do. It turned out slightly in a bit of a mess but I tried my best. So now onto the final part of the morning routine and that is to do the dishes and have a quick tidy from breakfast. So as you can see I'm just tidying my kitchen and doing the dishes and sort of resetting the house ready for the day.
Then the final thing that housewives would do in the morning would be to open the curtains at the front of the house and then this would signify to other housewives that you were ready for visitors. Okay, so that is my 1950s morning routine of a housewife. So I really hope you have enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed filming it and it's definitely made me think about the differences between then and now. I especially love the concept of how women would only draw the curtains in the front of the house once they were ready for visitors. I just feel like that is so nice and it just gives me a feeling of a community that I wish we had right now and hopefully we can have again after everything with the pandemic. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have then please do subscribe and I will see you in my next one.